hey guys welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today is a video that you guys have requested and it is a birthday video um this is just what i got for my birthday it is not meant as a braggy kind of video by any stretch of the imagination it's just i like watching these videos you guys seem to like them um but yeah if this isn't something you like feel free to click off i'll not be offended i would just like to point out I've been tie dyeing things, so my hands are a bit maybe <laughs> green. I can't get it off. Any tips on how to get that off? Let me know. Should have used gloves. Um, but yeah, um, today is the 14th of November. On the 9th of November, I was 37, um, and I got some prezzies, and I wanted to show you guys. So if you like these kind of videos, please do give this one a big thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would absolutely love that. Um, I've got a giveaway going at the moment. I've also got a members only giveaway, which I will link, um, do a link to down below if you want to join our Wednesday club. That would be amazing too, but don't feel like you have to. There will always be giveaways on this channel as well. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. So, um, my mum got me a food processor. I'll put a picture of it in now. Um, I'm not going to bring my whole food processor into my bedroom because it is massive. Um, but yeah, she got me a food processor. It's a Kenwood one. I had a Kenwood one I bought in 2009. Um, and then it died like two weeks ago and I was really sad because I use it all the time. And so this is kind of the newer version of it. So she just bought me that for my birthday, which is amazing and I absolutely love it. And I've used it a lot already. Um, she also got me a couple of other little bits. Let me just got it all down here so she got me and some of it's really fragile so i've got to be careful she got me some face marks um one of which i've lost but there's two of them here um she got me a chocolate orange self-heating face mask she just put these in my card and then a pink um clay one and then there's another one as well that i can't remember i've put it somewhere i probably put it in my face mask drawer to be honest and um, she got me those and then she got me some tea towels if you don't know um i have three children who are six five and one and my one-year-old is called fox so she got me a fox tea towel um which i absolutely love it's really really pretty the make is ulster weaver if that means anything to anybody but she got me a fox one um which is lovely then my Five-year-old is Aria, but I call her Little Fish. And she got me a fishy tea towel, which is gorgeous. I don't know whether to use them or to frame them because they're so pretty. How cool would they be just like in three big frames? Like, I love it. I love the prints. So, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. And then my six-year-old is called Mika, but her nickname is Little Cheese. However, mum couldn't find a tea towel with cheese on it. Mika likes sloths, so... Uh, Mika likes sloths. Mika is obsessed with sloths. She doesn't like them. She's obsessed with them. Um, so I got a sloth one, which is super, super cute. I'm showing you that way, that, but they're upside down. Like they need to be that way because they hang. So yeah, sloth tea towel. And they're all from the same company. So that is what my mummy got me. Um, My friend, Kate, got me a... Um, it looks like a mug, but it's not. It's a wax melter. Um, I've been melting one today. Um, and it looks like a cauldron, which I love. I have got a mug that looks like this as well. And when this is on the side, I nearly pick it up. Like, I've done it, like, four times already, nearly picked it up, um, which is not going to be good. So I'm going to have to make sure I have this somewhere up high where it's not on my desk, like, next to where I'm working, because I'll just pick it up and drive and drink the wax. Um, but that's really, really cute. My friend... Uh, Emily got me some beers, which have gone, some chocolates, which have gone, some curry tomato sauce, which is in my pantry, um, and she got me this little hanging doodad. It says, friends like you are precious and few, which is just super lovely. It's a little, it's like a ceramic one, little hanging. Um, oh, I found something else my mum got me. Um, these, um, she got off eBay. And they are, um, I don't know if anyone knows, but like there's a lady in America called Ree Drummond who is the pioneer woman and I am like obsessed with her. I absolutely love her cooking programs and like I want to go to her ranch and her shop and 
meet her and I just love her. Um, she has her own range of cookware and these are her measuring cups. And I was going to buy myself them from her website but the shipping to the UK was absolutely ridiculous. So I didn't and just forgot about them and then my mum found them on eBay. So she got me the set and they're brand new, they're all wrapped up, someone just didn't want them. Um, so you've got like a quarter cup measure, like they've still got all the cardboard and they were like fully wrapped. Um, and then a third of a cup and they're like the prettiest, they're ceramic. And then half a cup and then a whole cup. And I just think they're beautiful. I'm not sure if I will use them or if I will just keep them because they're so pretty, but I love them. They're just lovely. And that was a really nice little thing. Um, my friend Rosie got me some ornamental cabbages, um, which are beautiful. She had them delivered, which is so, so nice. And then she posted me these, which is a print because um, she knows I love my prints. Um, and this is from printisdead.co.uk. The Curious Collection of Mythology, Magic and Macabre. Which is just amazing. Um, so I'm going to get that a nice frame for that. And she also got me a badge from the same place. Which is a wooden heart with flowers. Like a pin badge. And I just think that's amazing. I absolutely love that. Um... And she got me a card that says, not even a pandemic could stop me from celebrating you, which I just think is lovely. So that's really cute. Um, ben and the kids. Firstly, Ben got me a back massager, which um, we have sent back. So that is no longer a present. Um, he got me a butterfly. Um, this is a magpie crow butterfly found in Southeast Asia, belongs to the subgroup Danade of the brush footed butterfly and it is a vulnerable butterfly. Um, and it says, please consider donating to your local butterfly organisation. I think these are ones where they die and then they save them, they don't like murder them um, to do this. But I love taxidermy, good taxidermy. I hate where they make the animals like dress up like people or do things it's just hideous I absolutely hate it but I love um really good taxidermy and I love crows and I love magpies so Ben got me this which is a crow magpie butterfly which I think is beautiful I absolutely love that he got me a bat last year um uh he got me the next two things I requested like he asked me what I wanted and I was like I want these <laughs> um, so he got me um something my well, two things by Fenty and it is the Fenty Pro Filter um, hydrating primer. I've had the matte one before and I loved it so I wanted to try the hydrating one. Spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Um, I have mostly been using it just on my face without anything on top of it or with a little tiny bit of powder but just mainly on its own and I love it. He got me a lipstick um, which is the fucking black one or F in black. Um, I haven't used this yet um, and it's got the like you're not going to be able to see it, but it's got the FB for Fenty Beauty. I dinged it. Can you see that little tiny ding? I was trying to take a picture of it and I was holding Fox and I jabbed my nail into it. I'm absolutely fucking fuming. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a video review on that. But I have a cold sore at the moment, so I don't want to use it and then contaminate it. So yeah, um, he got me this hank plant hanger I bought the plant that's in it um but he got me the hanger and it's a skull I guess I think it's a 3d printed one he got me a a standing one that you can put a plant in last year I think or the year before but this is a hanging one and then I bought myself the little plant in the top um from a passion for plants um in Norwich which I'll link because they're amazing I went I went and ordered some stuff and then when I got there I bought more stuff and um, it's like in some lady's garage and it's just awesome and um, I also from that place I bought myself this because this is kind of like a birthday haul because I bought these um for my birthday um I bought him he doesn't look real but he is um I bought the string of pearls this is a string of pearls um, I've had one of these before, they're quite hard to look after, um, but I just love them, I think they're beautiful. Um, well, you know what I'm like, I'm obsessed with plants. <laughs> I've got a massive great cheese plant over there. Um, I think I must have got about 50 plants now, it's getting a bit ridiculous, but they just make me happy. Um, 
So I got him. And then Ben's parents got me this beast. Who is ginormous. Um, I have a little one of these downstairs. I think this is called Mother-in-Law's Tongue, which is quite funny because it's from my mother-in-law. Um, but yeah, he is mahoosive. And look at the pot, it's beautiful. It's hand-painted. And it's just gorgeous. So yeah. That was my birthday haul um i feel very very spoiled and very very grateful for my amazing friends i was really sad because uh my birthday ended up being in lockdown um we were meant to be going to go ape um today actually not today we're meant to be doing an escape room tonight me and rosie who got me the print and her husband and ben we were going to go and do an escape room which was meant to be tonight but we've obviously that's been cancelled so we're going to have to go when they reopen um and then me and a couple of the school mums were going to go, who is Emily and Kate who got me some bits, we were going to go um, to Go Ape last weekend, but then the lockdown changed and we managed to arrange, we rearranged it. So we went like three days before the lockdown. So that was amazing. We went and it was so, so fun, like ridiculous fun. I'm going to try and put a little bit of a clip in of me absolutely fucking nailing a landing. Um, and by nailing a landing, I mean absolutely stacking it. Yeah, I was the same. <laughs> a little leg. <laughs> uh, but it was so much fun. So I feel very, very lucky that we got to do that. Um, if you had your birthday in lockdown, I'm really sorry. It's so shit. I just felt really sad on my actual birthday. Like, I didn't want to do anything. I don't normally do anything, but it's just not being able to like see the people you want to see and like hug the people you want to hug it was just really really shit um but yeah my little haul has just just made me really happy and all my plants have made me happy so um yeah and you guys wishing me happy birthday was just amazing i had so many lovely messages so thank you for that um yeah i'm gonna go because i've got like three more videos to film but yeah let me know if you've had your birthday in lockdown um what did you do to celebrate like me and ben had pizza and um yeah and that was about it really on the day we just um i think we went to sainsbury's with fox while the girls were at school and then we had pizza takeaway so that was nice but yeah let me know what you did if you have celebrated your birthday in lockdown or if it's coming up let me know uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye guys i just realized i forgot the best present from ben look if you don't know who this is i'm not sure that we can be friends um it's john wick who is Keanu Reeves, who I fucking love. Um, and it's like a little, like a worry doll kind of thing. But he's a little wool doll. Ben got him off Etsy for me and he is just amazing. He's a key ring, but he's not going on my keys because I don't want him to get ruined. He is going to be displayed somewhere because he's bloody amazing. So yeah, he was just behind the little box that I had all my stuff in. He jumped down. If you haven't seen John Wick, go and watch it because it's amazing. But if you don't like violence and action films, don't watch it because you won't enjoy it. It's so good.